All right, everybody, welcome to the next video in the screen mounting techniques that I use. First, we did the seal in the last video. Um, you might have just seen that, and that's why you're here now. What we are going to do now is actually put the screen on. So this is a 27-inch um, iMac. Make sure the camera is clean. It is. That's good. Um, test your system before actually sealing it. Tape your screen on with some um, painter's tape is normally what I do first to verify if you just set a solid state drive installation or repair to a logic board, replacements of parts, or cleaning that everything's plugged in, speakers are working, um, camera's working, microphone's working, system boots up and it works right, ports are working, they're aligned. Um, all the good stuff before you seal this. You don't want to have to seal an iMac twice. It's not fun. It's stressful enough taking a screen off and it's even more stressful if you mess up and have to redo your work. So something really important is make sure your border is nice and clean. There's a little bit of dirt here. I use some alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Um, clean off all your old adhesive first. Um, it is much, 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 much better to lay your screen down on a flat surface. I normally end up putting my screen down on a couple of microfiber cloths to do this cleaning process around the whole thing. Um, if it had OEM tape on it, it should come off pretty easily. But for the sakes of being able to show you everything in one camera shot. Okay, there we go. Done. So we are going to go ahead, plug the screen in. Um, then we're going to plug the system in, make sure that it turns on one last final time. And then we will go ahead and seal the screen. Plug that in. Plug our backlight in. Okay. So we'll plug in, set the screen down. See if we can do this without bumping the camera. Plug that in. Push the power button. I see light. Cool, works. Fingerprints drive me crazy. I'm sure they drive somebody else crazy. I'm gonna at least kind of clean it. Oh, bummer. So this screen looks like it has dust that has gotten into it. We don't really do much for repairing that. I know it is a possible thing to do. You have to take apart the um, light box on the back of it and blow it out, wipe it out, clean it out. And a lot of times you can cause a little bit more damage to you, or more artifact in the image than not. Um, just gonna go ahead and turn it off the wrong way really quick. And unplug it. Make sure it's unplugged. Hold down the power button for a second or two. Uh, it might help the power supply lose a little of its energy quicker. Might not, I don't know on this one. I haven't tried it. Um, physically, I haven't measured the caps after that. So what I do, we have our screen, obviously. We have all of our adhesive on. Um, I lift up the screen and I move it down a little. Just like that, gently. And I start with the bottom so I can get this part aligned. For me, that's one of the hardest, most important parts when I'm sitting down a screen trying to do it all at once. It's never really worked out well for me. So I start down here. So gently lift it up and I make sure one corner is aligned just right. Push it down, make sure the other corner is aligned just right. Uh, no, oh, I don't like that. Lift up a little. Lift up a little. There we go. So if you don't stick it down all the way, you might have more than one try at this because I want it to be perfect. Just right. Of course. The 27 inch, I think, are harder personally because they are a bigger screen. And that's what I want to see. Perfect, perfect. Squish in the middle. Let it sit. Check my upper corners, they are good. 
that is a well-aligned screen. I don't feel anything on the edges. Like, I, I do, but it's like, you can manipulate it a little bit while it's still setting. And that just, that's perfect. I am really happy with that. That's what I want to feel and see. So as you know, when taking a screen off, it is a little bit flexible down here. So we're gonna use that to our advantage, stick our suction cup here at the top, or whatever you use. And we're going to take out the bottom two. I'm not actually gonna take them all out, but the bottom two, I wanna explain really quick what I do. When they're in it, I take it out and I twist it out, just like this. So when it's pulling, it's pulling it away from the adhesive. And if it's pinching in a really small area, it pinches down like that and you can keep pulling and it's pulling away, it's not taking the adhesive out. Um, I don't just like lift and try to pull out, I intentionally bend it over itself, away from the iMac. So on this side, it would be the same thing, up and out. So lift up your screen a little bit, up and out, oops, up and out, give it a nice little pull there at the bottom. Yeah, we'll just work our way around. Last one, again at the bottom, up and twist it out. There we go. And make sure nothing is like kind of sitting in it. And just like drop it down position. Make sure it's all good. Give it a couple of little squishes. Grab my microfiber cloth and just go around like I'm cleaning it. I'll normally pinch around the frame. screen falling off in a couple of months because of bad, oh, there's the camera, bad adhesion. So, there you go. That's what you do. After that, your screen is well mounted and you're good to go and it's aligned. That's what's important to us. I hate seeing screens that are not aligned. I don't like being able to see the aluminum board around it. So that's our trick to make it so you don't. And it's aligned, you can do it yourself easily and I've been able to repeat this process many times. So, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.